The Bagman level two. Speaking of, we just leveled Bagman. We have five heroes so far. The, uh, the character selection in this game and what the characters mean and why to pick a certain character. Basically, you want to pick a character that you vibe with. So each character has different base stats. I played them all a little bit. And each character has different skills. You can see the skills right here. You can figure out kind of, it tells you, like this guy's good at rifles, he's good at heavy rifles. He can wear the special rigs. He can, he can like heal himself more. He's the only person with the medical expert skill that I've found so far, by the way, as well. Now, beyond that, playstyle is what really matters here. Bagman, who's right here, the last one. My, I know my head is covering his head. Sorry about that. Um, he has 1,500 base health, so he's tanky as hell. But he is the slowest character in the entire game, bar none. Beyond that, there are, there, each other character is a little bit of a mix. I think Scav Girl might have the least amount of health in the game, and uh, but she's the fastest. Shaman has slightly more health. He's slightly slower than Scab Girl. Then I think Old Man is right in the middle. Uh, as in, I think he has like 1,000 base health and like a decent amount of speed. And then Mask Man is a little slower, a little bit more health. I don't know his exact level of health. And then Bag Man is 1,500 health. He's a chonky guy. Now, the skill-wise, I'll, I'll tell you the skills that I find most useful. You start out with a base rifle. It is, granted, a 10-shot piece of crap, but, and all you can get is like, you know, the, if, you, if you're wanting to do the cheapest runs, it is still counting as a rifle. So you're still getting the accuracy buff if you upgrade his rifle skill. So he's pretty good. He's like pretty darn decent, and Medical Expert is very, very helpful, especially early game. Uh, the other characters that I found to be extremely useful for my own play style, Scab Girl is okay. She's very fast, but I've not really used the pistols. I haven't really found them useful. SMGs you have to buy. So not, like, if you spend your time maining this character and level her up, I think she could be really, really good. The SMGs are pretty good in the game. I found them a lot of fun. But, um, like, and she can become really fast, sprinting in and out. She has Sprint Expert beyond also the, uh, the entire, like, her speed boost that she has just by being the character Scab Girl. Shaman is my personal favorite. Carry capacity is huge. You can mix the carry capacity with Sprinting Expert and be zooming on the map. You start out with a shotgun, so you can uh, upgrade your shotgun. Shotguns are also really strong in this game. So uh, you can just, you know, grab a handful of that extra shotgun ammo and uh, go with the base shotgun and be able to go through most of the maps pretty darn decently. It doesn't have much range, obviously, as a shotgun, but... It has an absolute boatload of stopping power. Uh, and SMGs are pretty fun in the game. So there, there's a lot of SMG choices in the game. You can choose that if you start to make some money. Um, and the carry capacity actually helps a lot because that, that's that's more loot. More, more carry capacity, the more loot. And each character, when you prestige them, if you read the description, you actually get more movement speed various levels. It, doesn't, it says occasionally. So maybe it's every three levels, five levels. I haven't really checked. But, you know, having this guy Prestige 5, I can tell he's moving a little bit faster than he did from the beginning of the game when I first got him. And, uh, you know, he was already pretty darn fast. And each level that you do Prestige, you get more health. So right now this guy's base health is like, I think, 1180 or something like that. <clears throat> I find this guy pretty useful for that. If you want to go to for the tankier guys, this guy is good at every single weapon. So if you can't, if you're one of those guys, that you want a variety of weapons. You can't choose what you want to use. You want to use grenade launchers. You want to use LMGs. You want to use rifles. This guy is the the gunning expert. That is all he's good at. That is all he's focused on. But I do like Bagman as well. He's the slowest character in the game, but he does a carry capacity. So if you upgrade him all the way, you can be this giant walking wall uh, using the heaviest guns and having a really, really good carry capacity as well. So I think he's a pretty good character for that reason, but it really depends on your play style. My favorite character, Shaman. Also, look at that drip. Look at that drip. He has, he's got, he's got the, he's got the cool goggles on and everything like that. 
But every character you will find plays relatively similarly. Because even if you're Bagman, and even if you're Old Man, who's also pretty combat you know, centric because he can heal himself and so on. Um, you really don't want to fight too many enemies. Uh, you want to be able to be, uh, you know, picking your battles wisely. But anyways, that is my information. Play whoever you want. Play whatever uh, play style feels the best to you. But definitely try them all. There is no downside to trying them all. You can easily, easily just use your base surplus rifle, the base surplus shotgun. You know, pay maybe a thousand dollars in game, thousand credits for some uh, shotgun shells and uh, a bunch of surplus rifle bullets that you can get completely for free. And uh, explore each map and uh, try your best to learn every character and figure out your favorite. I'm going to try some Scav Girl now. So, if you like the vibes, let me know your favorite character for the Forever Winter. Let me know if this guide was helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Give this video a like and a comment. Help in the algorithm. Share it with your friends, especially those that play this game. Uh, I think this game is really, really dope. And I would love to know about how you're enjoying this game. And, of course, hop into Capcory on TV, where we are recording this live and have a great time. Hmm. Who do I recommend as a starting character? I would say it really depends on play style, but I think, like... Oh, we want that turret part. Um, but, uh, generally, I think, like, uh, Old Man is a pretty good mix of both. He's pretty survivable. He's not too slow. Uh, but I think Shaman might be one of the best. Okay, my opinion. I am biased because that's my character, but... He's quite fast, can get out of pretty good hairy situations. Come on, come on, start a fight. Someone start a fight with them. I want that gotcha box. Maybe they don't even need to. <laughs> not quite the best, but not the worst. Oh, that's, that's the best. Oh god. Run! Got stuck on a piece of wood or whatever. We're fine. We're fine. We run. We run. We we're look at it. Dude, she is so fast! We're just Sonic the Hedgehog, man. Holy shit! Shaman, yeah, Shaman has the drip, new boot. Yeah, Shaman has the drip. That's why I like Shaman. Also, like, dude, carry weight reduction is unironically, like, so freaking good. And he gets sprint speed and that. Okay, we're in. Three tanks. There's some poor guy over there. Whoa, oh, no, 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 I was kidding, I was kidding. It was a, it was a meme, it was a meme, it was a meme. Time to it was a joke, it, it was a joke, it was a joke. I was, I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. We're okay, we're okay. I could take the little gun dudes, but there was a big guy, one of the one of the big hulking soldiers, and I was like, nope. Mm -mm. He could he could he could one tap if he hits me in the right place, namely my head. <laughs>